couple weeks ago I had a, a presentation about uh, the philosophy of my work and I thought I can also put it online so people will know better what my work is about uh, but mainly to share my knowledge and the philosophy uh, told by also the old masters that inner sight is the only way to achieve powerful innovation. The only way! The first picture you hear, you see, it's me, yeah, full action. Um, uh, it was during a, a live drawing performance uh, at, uh, at the estate of a collector. Uh, it was really fun. Um, yeah, anyway, so I believe, uh, I really believe that like uh, good art has to bring you to another world. Uh, it has to bring you to another space and time that didn't exist before you saw the work. Um, it, it has to trigger you in such a way you experience a certain kind of like a, a mind travel. It has to drag you away, even like for, for a short while, out of your daily reality. Um, an artwork has to be a, a window to another world. So, uh, as you can see, I paint with all the colors you can possibly imagine. Uh, I use them all at the same time, black and white. Um, it's like watching um, an old black and white picture or movie, you know, like uh, in which you also have to feel the colors. You, you, you sense them. Uh, you can't define them really, but they, they, they just pop up. And with my paintings, uh, the black and white is the same. Um, if you only see black and white, that means, and I really mean this, that you're, you're blocked, you know, and that you need to have a break to reinstall your senses. You're too fucking too um, fucked up, you know, you have to sense them. To select one is also to neglect many others. So if you use colors, you actually force people to think or to feel already in a certain kind of direction. Uh, for instance, like yellow, it's sunny, while the dark blue and grey, they're rainy. Uh, I, I think it's stupid. I don't want to limit my audience their immense fantasy. I don't want to neglect your creativity. Uh, the aim of art is not to copy nature, but to express it. I strongly uh, follow uh, this philosophy and it's uh, beautifully written down by a great French writer, uh, Honoré de Balzac, uh, really uh, an amazing uh, name. <laughs> um, but in his uh, short novel, The Unknown Masterpiece, he wrote it down. Uh, it's a beautiful story. Um, I'm gonna put the link uh, from this novel uh, in the box here below. Uh, you can find it uh, for free to read it. Uh, I strongly recommend it. Uh, I got so much into its power. Um, it felt like homecoming. It's so powerful, uh, it expressed everything I felt. So uh, I started doing also uh, some research on it. And I found out that Picasso was asked by the publisher to make uh, illustrations for a reissue of, uh, of this novel. So here you also see an uh, illustration of, um, of Picasso uh, for, for this novel. Uh, Picasso, I found out, like he also got really obsessed by it. Uh, and uh, he bought even uh, the studio in Paris where the story takes place. Uh, actually, it's also there where he made his uh, Guernica. How to express nature, but uh, how to come to new ways of artistic expressions that can drag people to another world? Well, the, the only way to achieve this is to turn to your inner side. But how to turn to your inner side? Well, it's simple. By not knowing what the outcome of your painting will be. I just start drawing. I completely rely on my feeling and the trust where the lines will bring me. I trust on my senses where to put the others. I just, I just let it flow. So most of the people, they have fear of drawing. It's, it's mostly because they want to copy nature or they have already like a pre-imaged picture in their mind. So that's why I really like to do my live drawings. Um, I just start from scratch and like the bigger my canvas is, 
the better the impact. So like you see over here also uh, on this picture, I did it, uh, it was for an art festival. I made this mural um, and the people, they were bedazzled and I thought that was crazy when I explained them like, yeah, I just let it flow, you know, uh, I, I don't have any design. Yeah, afterwards, <laughs> they also turned down uh, the, the building. Uh, and then they, they thought like, yeah, man, this guy is completely nuts. But that's, that's what it's about. It's the fear of failing that inhibits, blocks innovation because it detains the mind from the free flow. I'm gonna say it again, man. Like, it's the fear of failing that inhibits innovation because it detains the mind from the free flow. That's why copying nature, like you see over here in the picture, it's from a work of uh, Luc Thurmans. Uh, his work is on the left, and the other one, uh, it's uh, the original picture. So that's why copying nature uh, never can lead to new ways of artistic expressions or create new worlds. Uh, you're not free if you're copying nature, no matter which subject you're trying to copy. Uh, like, uh, for instance, like for a model in your studio, a picture or, or, or a landscape. So even how abstract you're making it or interpreted it, uh, the subject will always have possession and so have dominion over you. You will always have to make sure people will be, be, be able to, to recognize your subject. So if you can't, you failed, yeah? So even if you use these subjects only, you know, I, oh, only for, for inspiration, actually you still limit yourself in, in further ideas. So you're blocking your inner side. There are no wrong lines, only insecure lines they destroy. You can make the comparison when you want to rob someone, you know, on the street. Who are you going to rob? The person who shines out like self-confidence? Or a person who looks like he comes by and he looks like really insecure and hesitated. Who are you going to wipe the floor with? Who are you going to rob? I will also take the second one, man. So you have to be confident and show it through your lines. Um, you are the creator. You decide, you know. You are the creator. Uh, over here, uh, you, you see the work uh, from René Margrit. He showed us in a brilliant way how our brain and eyes are always want to recognize and link forms and shape to your, your stored knowledge. Uh, this is not a pipe. It are just grouped colors and lines on a canvas uh, in a certain kind of shape. So that shape is recognized by our brain as a pipe. This trick of nature happens constantly while you're painting or drawing. So during the years, I've learned how to switch this off. So you have to do this to, to get your painting or drawing to a next level. If you want to make something completely innovative, you have to get loose of the past. If you want to drag yourself to new horizons, you have to get rid of the old ones. The old ones, they are stored in our brains. It's, it's like a library. If you want to have a new relationship, for instance, you know, but you're still thinking about the old one, it will never happen. Or maybe yeah, you will have one, man, but then uh, you, 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 you got only stuck in, in, in the same pattern. Uh, music. Music helps to focus on your inner side. Uh, this is one of my uh, picture of uh, one of also my um, uh, live performances with a, with a band from a great friend of mine. You have to check him out. He's a cool guy, makes some really nice lyrics uh, and music. He's called Matt Watts. So, uh, yeah, music helps to focus on your inner side, to let your pure creativity flow. I always call it the zone, man. If I'm working over there, it's like uh, I'm working. Call it like, leave me alone, man. I'm going and stepping into the zone. I'm in the zone. So good music can bring you to a higher state. That's why I like to do my live drawing performances together with this, uh, yeah, with, with live music. Uh, to, to get plugged in on the same energy the band is producing or the musician, or the, yeah, the musician is producing. So the, the energy that makes their crowd being moved by it, but it's also the same energy that makes the separate musicians become one big instrument. I want to, yeah, plug in in this thing, man, in, 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 in this energy. You are the creator, trust and have fun. And don't think about what you're gonna draw. Let it flow and feel 
it feel the magic, it's it's brilliant. 